Hi everyone, welcome to It's Tomorrow News. I am Hena Talati. Three dead, two missing in floods and landslides in Santa Catarina in Brazil. The state government said 26 municipalities have reported losses due to the storms of recent days and the cities of Rio, Negrinho in Brazil and Ascora have declared the state of emergency. The municipality of the Rio Nagrinho reported that there are 80 people displaced due to the heavy rains. Around 60 buildings and structures were damaged. Emergency rescue teams using the sniffer dogs are searching for the two people who are still missing in the landslide in the Rodeo. Three bodies were recovered from the site earlier on 19th January and around 190 people have been displaced and the municipal authorities have set up an emergency shelter. Rodeo recorded 173.1 mm of the rain in 12 hours to early 18 January 2023. State governor travelled by the helicopter to the area but was unable to land near the site due to the poor weather conditions. Around 5,000 customers were without power in Rodeo and around 3,200 in Ascora. Several people were also displaced by the flooding in Bomb Jesus and further 21 were displaced in the city of Ituporanga. Flooding was also reported in Benedito, Novo, Konohejas, Conoridia, Major Vieira, Tres Barras, Laura Mirel, Sardinopolis and Pomerador Day among others. 2022 began with the Eastern Australian flooding which was one of the nation's worst recorded flood disasters with series of floods that occurred from February to April. Followed by the heavy flooding in Brazil during the month of February, a similar event hit the South Africa in April 2022 causing heavy floods and landslides. In August, the massive floods in Pakistan made the headlines due to the astronomical number of people impacted. 1739 people died. That's all for now. For more news updates, stay tuned with us. It's tomorrow news. For more global weather updates like this, subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon for regular updates.